everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Lexus LS 500 F Sport. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Lexus here in Murray for giving me some time with the LS 500. Check out the inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood of the LS500, we have a twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 416 horsepower and then 442 pound-feet of torque, with fuel economy being 17 around town and then 27 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the LS500. So first and foremost, the hood is absolutely massive. Hopefully you guys can kind of tell that from this angle, but you can see here, we've got these full LED projector bulbs. You got the LED accent light that mimics the Lexus logo. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Just super sharp in general. And then you've got parking sensors all along the front. Um, well, there's uh, nothing behind this venting right here. So, uh, I don't know what to say on it, but it looks really cool. And then you've got Lexus's signature front grille with the Lexus logo that doubles as a sensor. And then I love the coloration here on the front end. You can see it's a little bit different than the rest. It just looks really good. It almost looks like chrome basically, but just a little bit of a different color. And other than that, that is everything for the front end of the LS 500. Well, coming around the side here, you've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front. And then the rear is actually two 75 millimeter, still get 20 inch tires in the back right there. I absolutely love the coloration on the wheels. So it's similar to that material there on the front end of the car. It just has this nice like chrome look, but it's like a really dark chrome instead of being like your typical kind of like bright silver chrome, if you guys get what I'm saying. And then you can see that F Sport badge just above the wheel itself. And then other than that, here's your full side view on the LS500. And this is where you can really see just how long that hood is and how long the car is in general. Now let's pop into the trunk of the LS500, which is absolutely massive, including the opening for the trunk. I love how you've got these custom floor mats. You've got the F Sport LS floor mats. So not only do you get floor mats specific to the model, but also to the trim package that the car is in. And then you can see you've got the Lexus first aid kit back here. And other than that, there's nothing too crazy with the trunk. It's just absolutely massive. And it's also automatic, you know, luxury car stuff. And here's the back end of the LS500. So first and foremost, you guys probably notice the kind of like 3D looking taillights. I love the design on these taillights, especially when they're on, they just look absolutely fantastic. And then you got all your regular badging back here. And if you guys didn't know, this is actually all wheel drive. Um, but other than that, they keep things pretty simple on the rear end from a design standpoint. You guys can see they do the wedges there for the exhaust tip coverings. Um, but yeah, other than that, again, things are pretty simple here in the back. Now let's actually go over the door panel here on the LS500. So first and foremost, you will notice that pretty much all of the surfaces here on the door panel are covered. So you got leather there at the top. You've got the really nice suede inserts here on the side. I really like this trim. It's uh, definitely interesting for the style. And then look at this. It just, all of it looks so beautiful. I love just this door panel in general. Just everything's nice to touch. It's also nice to look at as well. And then here are the seats in the rear, which from a design standpoint, these seats are really beautiful four rear seats again you can see the mixture of the suede with the leather and just like the design they do on the leather itself it just looks really premium in general and again they've just done such a good job but let's actually pop in so now that we're actually in here this is so comfortable back here so there's actually a really good amount of headroom and then legroom here is actually solid as well and then you guys can see there's a little storage space right here you've got some vents here in the back and then you do have a little 12 volt that you can charge devices with as well and then if you guys are wondering this is actually a sunshade button for the back so obviously if you're like yeah it's too bright out you just press the sunshade button but my favorite button is this little seat button right here so you basically press this button right here and it moves forward or backwards the seat right there so obviously this is for this passenger here in the back but like you're in such a high state of luxury back here that you're like no 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 peasant move forward so that i can have more leg room in the back of my ls 500 but yeah seriously like the back of this car is just fantastic 
Let's go over the door panel here at the front of the LS500. So again, you've got the nice soft touch over everything, and then you've got that same suede insert on the door. And then again, all of the leather just down below with all of the stitching just looks and feels really premium. You've got your memory seat controls right here. I love the look of the door handle on the front door and then you guys can see the seats here at the front so they do have the f sport logo there at the top of the seats and again they've got the suede inserts they've got the really nice leather with the perforations all throughout all the way down to the bottom of the seat you can see all the adjustments here on the side of the seats themselves got the little lexus plaque right here the pedals look really good here in the LS. And then you see you've got little gas cap release and the trunk release right there in that little area. And then this is for the heads up display. But look, even stitching and leather here on this portion that you're pretty much never going to look at. And then you do have the adjustment there for the steering wheel. It's automatic. But there is one more look before we pop into the LS. Here's the steering wheel in the LS500. So you've got the soft touch leather at the top and at the bottom with a little F-Sport logo. Perfect leather here on the side, so it's a little bit grippier where we actually grab onto the steering wheel. And then you can see you've got the controls right here. So these are the controls for the cruise control system. Then you've got your lane departure and your collision assistance. And then you can see the little paddle just behind. And then just behind the paddle, got the little stock for the windshield wipers. And then on the other side, you can see you've got the controls for the center jack, your voice command, volume controls for the radio. Again, paddle, and then you've got the light stock, and then the turn signal stock all integrated into one little system. But other than that, that's the steering wheel in the LS500. So here's the center gauge cluster with the LS500, and this is where things get pretty cool in my opinion. So you do have a little function on the gauge cluster where you can move it from side to side. I know it's gimmicky, but I absolutely love it. And then you've got those menus. They basically just give you different bits of information on the LS500, pretty similar to other Lexuses. Nothing too crazy with that. Now, with the drive modes, so first off, you've got the stability control, which you push in to turn off the stability control. And I'll show you guys that little function in a second. And then you've got the snow mode, which just pops up there on the side. That's not the cool part. The cool part's the other drive modes. So first off, you've got the comfort, and then you have the eco. And notice that things don't change too much, and then you have your normal mode, and then you have your custom as well. But when you switch it up, it goes into sport, and then you have sport plus which just looks so cool obviously it's the same cluster as what they have in the lc 500 you guys know i absolutely love the look of that and this is no different I, I just love how the gauge cluster changes with that just like boom aggressive mega aggressive so you guys can see the gauge cluster right there so this is the stock for the stability control and then the snow mode so you push in for the stability and then twist it for the snow mode and then on the other side You've got the little stock there for the different drive modes. So like the normal, the comfort, the sport, all that kind of stuff. For some reason, my camera doesn't want to pick it up. But anyways, the stocks on the other side kind of looks like a snail here because you have like the little middle part and then you have the eye stocks. I, I don't know. That's just me, but that's what I see. We've got the center infotainment system here. First off, we'll pop it into reverse. You can see the backup camera. You just have a regular backup camera with the trajectory lines on it. Nothing too crazy with that little system right there and then as for the rest of the infotainment system so it's a touchscreen but then you also have lexus's pad so for example i can press that for the concierge service basically or i can use a little pad down below to go to different things so i, I think it's cool they doubled up with the controls so that if you want to use it as a touchscreen you can or if you want to use the pad that you can use the pad um, i actually really like the pad it's really easy to use but then if i just like feel like i really need to get something done that i can go boom seats and steering and then I can go okay I want to turn on my heated seat I want to turn on my ventilated seat all that kind of stuff so I think it's pretty cool and then I love how you have like the little climate thing as well just like right there just like really accessible just down below the infotainment system we've got some vents here and then we've got the climate controls it's got a dual zone climate and then you have the little radio dial right here but I love these vents just look at the design detail with the vents and how they integrate the vents into the entire dash here I think it's just absolutely beautiful and Obviously, you know, it's practical as well because you've just got the integration with the design into something that, well, gives you some airflow. So I think that's really cool in general. And then you can see down here for the little CD player and you've got the auto hold right next to that control wise. Now here's the shifter. The shifter is a little bit strange. So you push in for park and then you actually push over and up for reverse and then over 
um, and down for drive. So you actually have to push it over. That's the only thing that's a little bit weird to it. And then you just pull it down for the manual mode if you want to shift the gears yourself. Again, it does take a second to get used to, but the shifter is absolutely beautiful with the uh, leather there at the top. I've got a few things here in the shift area. So again, you've got the keypad to control the infotainment system. And then you can see here, I've got some shortcut buttons. So this is just for the little shade in the back. This is a shortcut to like the seats, so the heated seats, all that kind of stuff. And then you have this shortcut button to the seat adjustments because there's a million different adjustments on these seats, which I think is pretty cool. And then you press this and voila, it'll bring out your cup holders, but in a really elegant way. And then when you're done with it, you just close that right back up. You might be looking at the center console and going, wow, that thing is absolutely massive. And how do you open it? Well, there's a button here and that opens up the center console. Towards the driver's side, you can see there's a little 12 volt in there and some USBs, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's a massive center console, but then guess what? You can do the same thing for the passenger. Like it opens up both ways. I don't know, I think that's cool. And then coming over to the glove box, you just have a regular little glove box here. So you just press that button and then it'll pop it open. It's lined with felt. The one thing I do want to mention is you've got leather above the glove box and then on top of the glove box as well. Again, another place you're not really going to look, they still use really nice top-notch materials. So up top here, we do have a sunglass holder, nothing too crazy. It's just like elegantly pops down though, which I think is pretty interesting. And then you have the controls for the sun roofs. So you've got one sunroof here and then you have another one in the back. And then if you're wondering, yes, this is a mirror for the rear passenger. So again, the rear passengers, they get to live a life of luxury because they also have a little mirror so they can stare at themselves and how beautiful they are sitting there in the back of their LS 500. And then also really nice suede headliner just looks and feels very premium. I want you guys to take one more second to appreciate, again, the attention to detail with this interior just all flows together very beautifully. Absolutely love it. But of course, we've got to get into the pricing because, well, nothing's free in life. So this LS500 in the S Sport package stickers for about $88,000 before any type of market adjustment. That all being said, let's take this bad boy Lexus out and see how she drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in the LS500. So you guys can see visibility of the hood. It's actually pretty good. Even though it's such a big hood, it's actually pretty easy to tell where it ends. Here's your visibility through both the mirrors. Remember, they do come with blind spot monitoring. And then here's all throughout the rest of the rear. So, I mean, in general, it's a bigger size sedan. It's got pretty good visibility. And with that all being said, well, let's set off. We are initially setting off here in the LS500. And first and foremost, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So. As you guys probably expected, it is so good. So you really don't hear a whole lot coming into the cabin and you really don't even hear any engine noise either. It's just perfectly taken away from the road and the ride quality, it is so smooth. When you go over bumps, it just doesn't upset the car. It's just so well put together and the brakes, are actually really solid as well stopping up here at the light it's just got like a decent bite there on the brake pedal taking a turn here yeah it's relatively direct with the steering and even though this is a bigger size sedan it doesn't drive too big you definitely can tell um, just how much car is back behind you but it's definitely not bad by any means but the biggest thing this ride's so smooth it's so nice like going over stuff, it just, it doesn't upset the car. It doesn't rat like nothing rattles and it's just so smooth. So like from a luxury car perspective, this just absolutely knocks it out of the park. Like this is definitely like, if I were to rate, this is definitely like on the top tier. And obviously that's why this competes against, you know, S-Class, all that kind of stuff. But obviously it's also a lot less expensive than a Mercedes-Benz S-Class because those things are crazy. But we're actually going to pop it over into the Sport Plus mode and over into the manual mode as well. We'll see what that 10-speed automatic transmission is actually made of. Yeah, even going over train tracks, nothing upsets this car. I love it. That sounds good. Yeah, so when you get on it, torque is really solid. Um, and in the Sport Plus mode, it actually sounds really good. Now, obviously, I don't know if that's piped in or not, but I mean, I don't care. It sounds good, right? Who cares if it's piped in or if it's real? I know some people get really weird about that. I don't. I just care about, you know, does it sound good or does it not sound good? This definitely sounds good. 
And, you know, just like as an overall acceleration, like for a luxury car, the gear shifts are relatively quick. They're really smooth though. And I mean, when you're on throttle, the gear shifts are really, really quick. Um, but the biggest thing is they're just so smooth. And that's kind of what I would value in a car like this is just to have uh, smooth gear shifts over anything else. Because again, you kind of want that luxury car feel and this just does it perfectly. That 10 speed automatic transmission is perfect for giving this car really smooth, crisp gear shifts. And that'll actually get me into summing things up with this LS500. So obviously $88,000, it's a big chunk of change, but again, most of the cars this car competes against are, you know, well over $100,000. So it's pretty much a bargain compared to its competitors, but it's not like you're getting bargain value. See, this car's really nice on the interior. Lexus build quality is just top notch. Every single time I get into a Lexus, whether it's a $30,000 Lexus or a $100,000 Lexus, I'm always so impressed with the overall build quality. Everything feels really nice, looks nice, and you can just tell it's gonna last for a really long time. And then from the exterior perspective, I love the look, especially the front and the front end. You know, they've kind of modernized it and everything. It just looks really clean and crisp and in terms of the performance, I feel like the performance is really solid with this car. Getting a little bit of a sharper turn right there. Yeah, I could definitely feel the weight. Like that's, <laughs> you can definitely feel the weight of this car. But again, it's, it's a big luxury sedan. So that's kind of what you would expect. Um, so as an overall package, I think this does a perfect job as a luxury car. And then as a luxury performance car, you know, it meets all of the criteria that it needs to. Um, but I would be actually lean more towards getting this over something like, again, a Mercedes S class or something like that, or like a BMW seven series, because not only is this going to hold its value better, I just know that I'm not going to have to pay a ton of money in maintenance costs because of Lexus's reliability and their build quality on their cars. Now that is going to sum things up for our video on this 2021 Lexus LS 500 F Sport. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Lexus here in Murray for giving me some time with this LS 500. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.